everyone, and welcome to North Javits, where we're hosting our annual flagship conference, Dash. Today, we're on site to cover the people, presentations, and of course, Datadog's latest innovations. Hello, and thanks for tuning in to This Month in Datadog. My name is Jeremy, and I'm the VP of Technical Community and Open Source. This month, we're bringing you up close coverage of our flagship conference, Dash. Whether you're just starting out or an expert in your field, Dash is the event to get inspired and learn how to observe, secure, and scale your applications, infrastructure, and teams. There's so much happening this year that we added a third day. On top of networking and an expo hall packed with our partners' latest offerings are the many sessions by some of the world's top engineers and business leaders. There's also fireside chats and panels about emerging trends, current challenges, and lessons learned, workshops on topics like AI and LLMs, Kubernetes and security, and so much more. Dash is also where you can be one of the first to hear about Datadog's newest product offerings. During this year's keynote, we announced our latest innovations that enable you to comprehensively monitor your AI and LLMs, strengthen your system's reliability, and improve your developer's experience. And that's just to get started. There's a lot more to get to, so let's take a closer look at Dash 2025. This diagram probably looks familiar to you. Data flows from sources through a warehouse to downstream AI and BI tools. Everything looks fine until a customer flags a data issue. The problem compounds, and you start to lose the things that are easy to lose but hard to regain, time and trust. We don't think working with data should be this way. And to help you shift from reactive firefighting to proactive action, we're introducing Datadog Data Observability. Now available in preview. Last year at Dash, we showed you that Bits is capable of operating like an SRE. And for the past year, we've been hard at work making Bits even better. But today, I'm excited to announce that you can enable Bits AI SRE in your account. Using Bits is like instantly adding an engineer to your team who is already familiar with your system and is on call 24-7. Our new dev agent is deeply integrated within the Datadog platform. So it has complete knowledge of your observability data and uses live production context to autonomously detect high-impact issues, diagnose their root cause, and create context-aware pull requests. Bits security analyst vastly reduces the time that SOC teams need to spend triaging SIM signals. Bits autonomously investigates SIM signals, recommends a triage resolution, showing its investigative steps with accompanying data queries, and allows for immediate remediation right in Datadog. Would you like me to share the suggested next step? Yeah, let's get the first step. And could we also post a Slack in the checkout channel that's going on? Got it. I posted to Slack in hashtag checkout ops. That's a preview of our voice interface for incident response. In real time, you can get details of the underlying monitor, get next steps, and take action even before jumping onto your computer. In less than a year since launch, teams are now storing over 100 petabytes of data per month, making Flex Datadog's fastest growing product in history. We're just getting started. You told us you need logs for years. That's why I'm thrilled to introduce Flex Frozen. A new long-term storage tier designed for historical reporting and regulatory requests. Keep your logs fully managed in Datadog for up to seven years. Debugging latency is hard. And we've heard this from you too. And that's why I'm excited to announce APM Investigator. The IDP to help engineers ship quickly and confidently using what you already have in Datadog. The Datadog MCP server allows agents to both access Datadog data, it allows us to add live instrumentation, and use the breadth of Datadog capabilities to both find and fix issues for you. 30% of model training failures are because of GPUs. And these clusters are often running idle. Yet, even as GPU sales skyrocket, 
SREs and ML engineers are left without end-to-end -end visibility in how GPUs impact their AI workloads. That's why I'm excited to introduce Datadog's GPU monitoring. GPU monitoring provides full visibility into your GPU fleet across all major cloud providers, on-prem setups, and GPU as a service platforms. To help solve the challenges that come with integrating AI agents, I'm excited to introduce Datadog's AI Agents Console. With AI Agents Console, you can now monitor the behavior and interactions of any AI agent that's a part of your enterprise stack. Each year, Dash brings together the best and brightest observability leaders from around the globe to share, learn, and get inspired. I'd like to thank the attendees, sponsors, partners, speakers, and Datadog staff for making Dash 2025 such a success. It really was the best Dash yet. Before we sign off, we want to spotlight Datadog's ambassadors, many of whom attended Dash this year. Here's Ariel to tell you more. Thanks, Jeremy. Hi, everyone. My name's Ariel, and I'm the community manager. The Datadog Ambassador Program is a global initiative to build and support a network of technical experts who love solving problems and sharing what they've learned. Contributing to the community is a big part of being an ambassador, and you might find them creating technical content, contributing to open source, leading regional user group communities, or helping developers get the most out of Datadog. And you might have spotted them at this year's Dash at regional community sessions, the meet and ambassador area of the reception, or giving talks on topics like how to break down monolithic architectures with minimal disruption, moving legacy data systems to the cloud, or applying the principles of continuous improvements to scale observability and reliability engineering. Datadog ambassadors get a number of exclusive benefits for their outstanding contributions to the community. Some of those are early access to product updates, direct connections to Datadog product and engineering teams, and support for their public speaking, technical content writing, and engineering projects. Ambassadors also get free Datadog certification exams, tickets and travel to Dash, and the swag is pretty nice too. But more than that, becoming an ambassador means joining a tight-knit global community of builders who are just as excited about observability. Want to learn more? Check out this video's description for a blog post where you can read all about the program. And now, back to Jeremy. Thanks, Ariel. And that wraps up today's special episode. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion for a future episode, comment below or email us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of This Month in Datadog. See you next month.